Hello friends, when last we left off, uh, the crew of the USS Rust Bucket uh, was just traveling through the first sector and we are about to make our first FTL jump into the next sector. Now we can go into either a nebula sector or a civilian sector. Uh, from here I think we're going to want to go to the civilian sector. Uh, there's a good amount of fighting that happens but we can also visit stores and just kind of find random stuff lying around. And I feel like that that's our best course of action. The nebula is dangerous because there can be like nebula storms that uh, damage our systems and we can, uh, uh, it interferes with our um, ability to see what's happening on our ship and we don't really want that. So we're going to go to the Engi controlled sector. Maybe find ourselves uh, some ship upgrades or uh, maybe another crew member. Alright, uh, we've arrived in Engi space. Uh, the Mantis have been threatening the Engi core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Perfect. Alright, uh, there's no one here right now, so we're just going to jump straight straight away. Uh, we're going to go to the Distress Beacon first, and then we're going to jump back to the store, and then we're going to continue on our way to the, uh, the next uh, FTL jump station. Uh, we arrive at the Distress Beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegal mining, illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, we can either try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks or destroy the ship. I mean, they're just pirates. Oh, they've sent out a distress beacon, and uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I mean, they're pirates, but they, they weren't really hurting anybody, it's just illegal mining. I'm going to try to dislodge it. Alright, we take a few careful shots, but expose a mineral patch in the rocks that reacts violently with your weapon and shockwave forces you back as the debris pelts against your hull when you regain control you find that there's not much left of the ship. Oh, so we took some damage, but oh geez. We got some scrap for it though. Uh, so hopefully we should be able to repair ourselves at the store here. Let's go there! Straight away. Uh, a message arrives, your scrap, your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're about to raise your shields and you realize it's just an Anki trader looking for a trade. Oh, poor guys, I, I, I'm not that good at communicating. Okay, so, uh, we, they're, they're selling some drones, but we don't actually have drone control yet, and buying our drone control would be, like, the most pointless thing ever, because we can't afford the drones. So, um... We are just going to uh, fix our ship here. Uh, I think we're good on fuel and missiles, actually. But we can't really afford anything else, and uh, we don't really want to sell our weapons for uh, any crew system, because we kind of need those two basic weapons in order to destroy most shields and then damage their systems. So, um, yeah, we can't really afford much else, so I'm gonna uh, buy some missiles so we can keep using those freely, and then uh, we should probably stock up on some fuel too, just so we don't have to worry about it later on, and that should be good. So uh, we might actually be able to upgrade our ship some. I feel like we should upgrade our shields, uh, but we're gonna wait to do that until we have 50 scrap, which is what we need to get the next shield bar. I feel like that's the next thing we should save up for. Um, and we're going to jump straight here to the end of location. And see what this has in store for us. Uh oh. Local sensors pick up two ships engaging in a heated battle. It seems the Mantis military ship will surely defeat its prey. Uh, we should definitely aid the civilian ship. If, if, they're, if they're just attacking civilians, that's just ridiculous. We can't let that happen. You frown. Power up the weapons. Prepare to engage the Mantis ship. Not today. Oh, we are so badass. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let's straight away uh, use the Artemis to take out their shields like we normally do, and we'll use the burst laser to attack their uh, th their weapons. Take that out. Uh, we should also prepare a crew for battle because they do have a teleporter, which means that they could be sending them to uh, take us down. <sighs> this could be dangerous. Okay, we, we have infiltrators, um, and we're going to get our entire crew on it. We're not going to let them take out our oxygen. Okay, get Zin Zin out of there. Zin Zin, Zin, Zin needs help. Um, geez, okay. 
Jeez. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll let them continue attacking for the time being. Okay, we've taken out their shields and their weapons. Uh, we're going to disable the Artemis. And uh, let the first laser finish them off. Uh, Zin Zin is almost fully healed. When she is, we'll send her back to take care of the enemy. And Oh, crap, it just took out our oxygen. Oh, jeez, now they're going for our engines. Okay, this isn't really that good. They might surrender as soon as we take out their ship, though. Uh, if not, I need to get the oxygen back up. Okay, the Mantis ship breaks apart. We get fuel, missiles, and scrap. Uh, we're going to attempt to contact the civilian ship. Uh, they were assaulting a science vessel. to thank and offer a small reward. So more missiles, drone parts, and more scrap. Unfortunately, we're still, still under attack. So we're going to get our entire crew and have them take out these scum. Perfect. Okay. We, we've got this. Get Susan out of there. She'll go back to repairing while the other two just... Well, Sheila and myself just mop up. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. We've taken them down. We're gonna repair everything up nice and... nice and tidy. <sighs> What a relief. Okay, let's get everybody to the medical bay, patch up their wounds. I, I've got a small cut. Uh, Zin Zin was just bleeding out. Uh, uh, she Sheila had a large gash across her chest. It, it, it's, a, it's a mess, but we're doing good work here. We saved the civilian ship, so um, now that everybody's recovered, let's actually upgrade our shields and then our power. Just a, just a, just a little bit. Um, this way we can fully power our shields. Uh, we'll take off. We'll unpower our medical bay until we need it so we can activate the Artemis. Um, and then let's get our crew back to our their uh, respective positions. And we will jump to the next sector. Ooh, we have a store. Unfortunately, we won't be able to buy anything from the store because we just spent all of our scrap on upgrades, so we're going to actually skip over the store for the time being. Um, maybe we'll get, like, just a mountain of scrap from this ship, and then we'll be able to uh, buy something. Uh, when you see them, when they see the Mantis warship waiting in ambush at your intended coordinates, the, your crew is relieved to note that you jumped some way off the mark. So we can attempt to remain concealed, or we can attack the ship. Uh, now this is a warship, so I'm not going to feel terribly bad about attacking it, and we do need the scrap. We, we can't just let this go by. I feel like we can take them. They've got only one set of shields, a pretty weak hull, um, and it actually doesn't look like they have a boarding system, which is good, because that's what really got to us last time, um, and I feel like with our upgraded shields we should be able to take them no problem. So let's send the Artemis straight at their shields and set the first laser a target for their weapon system. And let's get started! Char charging up our weapons. Our medical bay is down, but that's not going to be an issue. And we are going, just going to take out this Mantis Scout like nobody's business. Alright, uh, they damaged their medical bay, but that's fine. We weren't using it anyway. Um, we are going to redirect the Artemis at their uh, cockpit and the first laser, uh, we're, we're gonna focus that on their shields, we don't need them getting back up, and we should be able to take out their hull in no time, actually. Perfect, okay, that was a piece of cake. We took them out, got some fuel, drone parts, and scrap. All right, um, we're going to send Zin Zin into the medical bay to repair it, and actually I'll send myself in there as well, uh, because I'm just a repairing expert. We should be able to get that back up and running. I'll head back there, zoom zoom back to our post at shields, and let us uh, jump straight away to the next sector. Oop, we've got a distress beacon. Let's go help out. Uh, maybe we can save some lives and reap some rewards, of course. You find a number of ships fleeing from the small space station. You hail them, asking, What's wrong? <clears throat> help! Our ship is being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Again? How many freaking alien spiders are there in this universe? This is crazy. We have to help out. Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent, 
in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlocks and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. I died? I die. I'm dead. I'm dead now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, jeez. How is this crew going to survive without me? I, I don't even know. Uh, Sheila, you're going to have to man the cockpit from now on. Zin Zin is going to uh, focus on shields. And we ju we'll just leave our, our weapon system to uh, automation. We're, we're, we're going to visit uh, this location and then head straight to the exit. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a black market hub. Uh, we can sell some of our missiles for scrap. But uh, we don't have enough missiles. We kind of need them. In fact, I'd rather buy more than sell what we have. And we don't really need scrap all that bad. So we're going to ignore them and jump. Uh... Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll visit up here and then make for the exit. We have enough time. Uh, a rare sight. A Manta ship that appears not to notice you. Okay. Well, uh, it doesn't seem like a civilian ship. It's still a scout. Uh, our relationship is neutral, so we can attempt to remain concealed. Uh, but I still feel like we should attack it because we need to make up for the lack of uh, the commander. So, we're going to fire the Artemis at their shield, the burst laser at their weapons, and we're just going to keep that up. We do not have the luxury of being able to do anything besides that. So we're going to keep our shields up, and we're just going to take them down straight away. We're not, we're, we're not playing games here. We're actually going to need to deactivate the Arcus, because uh, we don't want to waste our missiles, and actually, so long as we can keep their weapons down, um, then they can't do anything to us, and we just took them out straight away. And perfect. No complications there. Ship explodes. We get two missiles. We only used one, which is perfect. We get some more drone parts. Hopefully we can sell those. I don't think we can, which is really a shame. But if we can at some point, that'll be perfect. And we get some scrap. So let, let's make the jump and go to the exit before the Rebel Fleet, get, Rebel Fleet gets too close. Whew. Okay. We've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, we got some debris from a forgotten battle that still orbits a gas giant, and we get some more fuel, drone parts, and scrap. This is perfect. I haven't actually had to worry about fuel at all, which is just perfect, because usually you do at this point, but they're just, like, them throwing it at me. Alright, before we jump to the next sector, I'm actually going to leave it there. Uh, thank you all for watching. And